No, I still think Brutal Legends is because it had no music. At least this game has a nice soundtrack to it. Well, that's the only game out of everything we've done that you played. Conquer. You played Banjo Kazooie, but you didn't. You really ever talked about it? You were either playing something else, or you were doing something in Minecraft. Exactly. Your Iron Man can wait for you. Screw horses. <laughs> the ancient town of Mead was destroyed by creatures known as Lion Claws. They live on stilts, but in a state of hibernation. For all of you. If you guys, if you, the audience, are probably wondering what these two are griping about, well, the new um, update for the Microsoft uh, Minecraft just came out, and now we have Creators Mode. Chris created a humongous uh, Mario, and Eric came in and blew it up. Mario's hardcore. <laughs> God. And the Crystal Caves here, we're going to get the uh, the Dragon Armor, which is very important for to complete. Uh, I think one stage. I think you can get past um, the fire barrier, but I'm not too sure. Uh, what you say, Eric? The Dragon Armor, well. To tell you the truth, it does. It kind of sucks. The whole point of the dragon armor is to protect yourself from fire damage, and you breathe and you can breathe fire when you have it on. But that's it. it it's not like it's not like special dragon armor like you can get like in maybe like Oblivion or Skyrim. It's not that type. Welp, this game proves you're wrong. Well, fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> L. That's something we could agree on. Ooh, treasure. Lots and lots of treasure. This is supposed to all give you uh, prepared for uh, the battle that's coming up because if you remembered, if you guys have been paying attention, those uh, dragon gems we've been getting from the pumpkin witch and yeah, the odd looking chaos emeralds, they're dragon gems. Uh, well, right now, this is though. I'm sorry, but I'm face palming right now at this voice actor for this dragon. This has got to be the worst voice actor for a dragon ever. Seriously. Uh, not that bad. I'm talking about. I'm talking like bad. Like you, you think of like some sort of growly voice with him, but no, he talks like he's a like he's like. You're over exaggerating it a lot. <laughs> I do admit though, I did at I have to admit when I did went to go see the Dark Knight Rises, I did kinda have a hard time hearing what Bane was saying. Uh 
I know. The fuck indeed. Well, that's the whole point, because we can't take any weapon and smack him in the head. Unfortunately, we have to use the Warhammer to get the uh, rubble from the top to fall on him. And depending on where you're standing, certain rubble will fall down. But... Oh, Resident Evil? Well, which one are you going to be doing? Uh, the very first... Number six? Oh, okay, well... Oh, the whole healing system in the game. <laughs> Did you hear that, everybody? Mentos saved the world. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's literally like it, the package that it comes with might as well be the package that you get Tic Tacs in. Well, Eric, we can go to Resident Evil 6 if you want to, but that means we most likely would have to do all the other Resident Evil games. If that's the case, then I'll probably take them over then. Unless you want to do certain ones. Because I know you want to do 6. Do you want to do 5, 6, and Veronica? Alright, well, you gotta get yourself a copy of Code Veronica then. Which you can, because it, it got released on the Xbox 3, uh, 360 not too long ago on the arcade. Yeah, it did! Yeah, uh... Yeah, they released, they released that, and they also released uh, an HD remake of Resident Evil 4 also. Which is pretty much the PlayStation 2 version that is um, in HD, but I'm most likely going to play the Wii version, because the Wii version, to me, has a better um, aiming, because, well, the motion sensing controls, that's probably the only good it has for it. Um, and it also has the extra content that um, the GameCube version and the PS2 version has in that one whole package. So that's why I prefer the Wii version. So I might be doing the Wii version for Resident Evil 4. For the first three, since you're going to be taking care of probably Veronica, um, the first one, I'm not too sure if I want to do the original one with the very bad voice acting or the remake. But I am def Okay, because I always thought about doing like a let's play of uh, Resident Evil, but I wasn't too sure which one to do, either the original one or the remake. Because the remake, oh my god, it's so hilarious. Did I say remake or did I say original? Okay, never mind. Scratch that. Well, the remake's voice acting still isn't the best. I mean, it's a better that... Yeah, it's less hilarious, though. I mean, seriously. One of these times, when you're on YouTube, just look at all the bad voice acting in the original Resident Evil game. Look, Hell, even look at the fucking cover of the game. It's so bad. That's bad box art at its best. Well, that's, well, that's good as box art got during its first time. Like, well, you can, I guess you can use that compelling argument for Mega Man, too, because the Mega Man box art was hilarious as well, too. I mean, seriously, you play as a little boy robot, but on the front cover always has, like, a man dressed all in blue with a cannon. He's always doing all these cool-ass poses and everything. When you play the game, it's like, this is nothing like the cover. No. It's, it's, he's a robot, but he, I guess he's more of a child robot, I guess. I'm not too sure. I guess, Ast Astro Boy, that's much more hardcore. Do I fight him? No, 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 no. That just gets him irritated. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, actually doing Resident Evil commentary would actually be pretty fun. 
But the question is, which one to do first? Now take care. The good people of Galamir are depending on you. Uh, okay, awkward silence. All right, well we'll just oh we'll, well, well we'll decide that when the uh, cross will, when that we hit that cross road. But for now, I just went to the Hall of Heroes. Yeah, well, I just went to the Hall of Heroes and got the lightning power up, which is a really good power up. The problem is though, it drains really quickly, and once it's down to zero percent, there's no chance of uh, recharging it whatsoever. I'm only gonna I'm only gonna be using it during the final fight. That's the only time I ever show it off. Oh god, this place. The gallows gauntlet. And what the hell are these guys? I never understand what they are. I heard they were called like scarecrows or something like that, I'm not too sure, but they're like impaled with sticks and they hop on the sticks. I'm not giving them the chance to because well I have the magic sword and I say fuck them. Seriously. Ugh. One of the main player problems I hate with this level overall is just the, uh, uh, just this one enemy that's in here. That's the ghost of a dragon that died here a long time ago. And he fucks your health up badly. And I try to be careful not to unleash him, but I accidentally deadly unleash him. See, there's his carcass right now. Fable Dragon Armor forged by, uh, I guess, this guy. So maybe that's one of the main reasons why he died. <laughs> oh, dead. <laughs> I mean, I would explain. I would, I would explain why he's, you know, dead there on the floor. He was the unlucky bastard who got skinned. This level is really short. The only thing we need to do is to get the uh, certain rune in order to get the exit. But, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, get 100% in this game. So I'm killing all the enemies I can to level up the chalice. Yeah, this game I am going for 100% because really it's not one of those games that, you know, going for 100% isn't tedious. It doesn't take too long. So yeah, I was able to walk through the firewall while having the dragon armor on. That's pretty much what its purpose is. Eh, I, I liked um, what Eric said, that usually, you know, dragon armor is supposed to be, you know, powerful. I would like a boost in defense, but unfortunately, it's not in this case. Oh, well, yeah. According to the British. That's a game. That's a game I haven't touched in a while, Skyrim. Well, like I said, there's well, like I said, there's that new add-on where you can add or you can build your house. And oh uh, shit, I released the fucking ghost of the dragon. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Well, when you're doing this, uh, when you get to this part, there are four switches. They activate certain gates. One activates the gate to get the rune. The other activates where you can get the, the chalice. And another one, you know, activates another switch to um, open another gate. I think that gate is for the chalice. I'm not too sure, but um, you in the middle of it, there's you can actually see um, kind of kind of like a type of text tile that looks like a trap. I accidentally stepped in it and now I unleashed the uh, ghost of the dragon. And this guy follows you around for a long time and he literally fucks up your health big time. You can't attack him. You can't kill him. It makes sense because he's a ghost, but just seriously though, the only thing you could do is run. Exactly. That's... That's right, motherfucker. Game over. Maybe a version 2.0, but I don't know. Shut up now. <laughs> huh.
but then, but, yeah, but the problem is, but the problem is, is that you killed it, and then it comes back as a ghost out of a ghost, and it's like, well, this is awkward. <laughs> uh, robot chicken. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, it's from Robot Chicken, damn it. <laughs> oh, an adult. And with uh, on Adult Swim, yeah. Because other than that, Adult Swim always airs the weirdest shit. It just that most of the stuff they have on there is really intoxicating. You really have to be this high in order to watch it. <laughs> Are, you high yet? <laughs> Are you high enough to watch this? No? Well, we're still forcing it on you. I mean, literally, Super Jail, um, The Late Night Show, um, Tim and Eric Awesome Show. What the fuck is all this? It's Thank seriously, it's know. it's fucking weird. I've got something here I, I only go on Adult Swim to watch Robot is. Chicken, or sometimes that they have Family Guy, and now they have the Cleveland Show on there, but I hardly care for Cleveland Show. <laughs> it really isn't. It's it's pretty much the Family it's Family Guy black version. That's what it is. Yeah, Cleveland Brown, the uh, the black character, the um, show got his own show. A long time. Mm, no. He has a group of guys who are friends. Yeah, but he does have a band. I wish you had a band. I don't remember. I can I can remember I can remember that one I can remember that one episode where, you know, Peter and his friends formed a band, but that's it. And Cleveland was in it? Yeah, and Cleveland was in it. This was when he was back in the Family Guy show. Was there was it a trumpet player? No, he wasn't a trumpet player. No, there wasn't. It was a rock. It was a rock um, band, dude. Yeah, I was just wondering because like my private teacher did a bunch of was playing on that show, and um, he he said that the one time it was a band that Cleveland formed a band and he was playing trumpet on it. Huh. Yeah. Weird. So I was 